Hey there, this is Vladimir the Batamir. This is the third video in my series, um, picking right up from the previous video that I made, which I showed how to construct a beginning of a bust in Blender uh, by blocking it out with sort of basic shapes and then combining those shapes together. In this video, I'm gonna look at adding sort of further detail now that I've blocked out a beginning to my sculpture. And also some important things to keep in mind as you're working in more detail into a sculpt so that you don't run into issues with your computer crashing. So I will first open up Blender where I had been uh, working on my previous sculpt. And so here we are. I had merged three rounded cubes to get the starting of my head, my neck, and the shoulders that I'm going to use to further sculpt on. And then on top of that, I had gone in and added a modifier um, called the remesh modifier. And that went in and added a whole bunch of little lines all throughout the uh, shape so that I have more to work with as I add in detail. First thing I'm gonna wanna check to make sure that I don't run into problems is how big is my file size? So if I do a file, save as, and we'll call this uh, S bust. And we'll save this in my Blender folder. Now I'm gonna go ahead into my file browser in my Windows computer. But if you're on a Mac, you would use Finder and do the same thing of go into the folder where you have your file saved just to get an initial idea of how big is this file. And so I can see it's, you know, a thousand, uh, about one, you know, 1,600 kilobytes, which, um, you know, I, I, I think is 1.5 megabytes, give or take. Um, I'm not terrific at those file conversions, but I just want to keep an eye on how big this gets. Um, the other thing that I want to have brought up is, uh, the task manager. And so we'll look for that just in the Windows search bar. And why this is helpful is I want to keep an eye on how much CPU and how much memory is Blender using. And so you can see I have like 18 tabs open in Chrome. So that's using a whole bunch of my memory and CPU. But you know, Blender's in second second place here. Um, with 329 uh, megabytes kind of continuously. And so if I come in and start doing stuff like, I'll switch this back just to the view where I can see the surface. So I'm gonna come in here and start moving in uh, some shapes, bring out the chin here a little bit. Start establishing face is sort of a more rounded shape than a cube. And actually something that I might want to use to make this easier um, as I sort of continue to uh, work out the general shape of this is I while I'm in sculpt mode, I can come up to this top right corner next to this little symbol that looks like a butterfly, and I can enable mesh symmetry in the x-axis. And so what that means is you can even see with my cursor here, anything I do on the right side, it's going to happen on the left side. And so if I'm just trying to get the general gist of head, and head and shoulders and neck and stuff. Um, having it start out symmetrical at least will make less work for me. I only have to sculpt half the thing. Now I've heard a critique of um, digital sculpts being that uh, they can be, you know, too symmetrical. And so as I get in here and start working in things like I don't know, wrinkles on the face or something, I might want to turn off symmetry 
or maybe uh, you know this, this particular creature or person that I'm sculpting has an asymmetrical face. Maybe they're a pirate and they're wearing an eye patch, um, you know, just on one eye. So that would be a point at which I would come up to here and turn off the symmetry. So now that I've added a little more to the surface of this thing, I'm going to save it. And let's go ahead and check on that file size. It was, you know, 1,600 to begin with. And looks like it's still saying about the same. So we're doing OK there. And then we would also check on you know, the memory. Is any, are there any problems here? Not so far. And so come in here, and I will use my right mouse button to click. And then here, I can change the radius of my brush. And so I can either just drag this to make it bigger or smaller, or I can type in a number here, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to drop this down to, to 15. Um, and what that is is 15 pixels radius. And so this will let me come in here and really start you know, doing some stuff like, if I hold Control, I can make a dent in this. And I can see here, you know, I, I don't really have enough detail in the mesh to add in eye sockets or, you know, nose or lips or anything like I'd want. So what I want to do is actually go back out to object mode. And we're going to use a modifier, which I showed in the previous video. Um, and we're going to use the remesh modifier and we're going to add some detail. So we're going to go from being, you know, 0.1, and I guess the scale we're working in here is meters, um, so to we're going to have 10 times that detail by, you know, making the subdivisions, small, uh, you know, a tenth smaller. So this is a point where um, I might spike my RAM use and uh, I might spike my file size. So I want to be careful. I don't want to add a whole bunch of zeros all at once. I just want enough detail so that I can keep working. So we'll go ahead and hit enter. Looks like my computer didn't scratch, uh, crash. Um, let's check on my RAM. So I think it was like at 300 before. Now it's at like 800, so it's using more RAM, but not terrible. We're, I would say, within acceptable boundaries. And I'm going to apply my remesh uh, modifier to truly get a sense of how this is going to behave. And so we'll save that. Let's check on the file size. And so it jumped from uh, like 16 to 80. So, uh, you know, that's 80 times what it was by adding that level of detail. So this is why you want to be careful with the remesh modifier is you can very quickly make it so big that you can't work on it anymore. And so this is also a time to, you know, double check your memory and make sure that these aren't getting like above 80% because otherwise um, your computer might slow down so much that uh, it crashes and you lose your work. So, you know, repeatedly saving and kind of checking your file size and your computer use uh, usage for memory and CPU is an is a good idea. And you know, I'm working on a Windows computer, but there is a similar thing for Mac. Mac, it looks like what you want open is the app called Activity Monitor which I don't know if it will show up if I zoom in here. It's like a little black square with a green line going up and down. And so if you keep that open, that will keep you abreast of how much CPU uh, processing power are you using up. Um, and that also may uh, help, help you know if you're going to get a big spike in your RAM usage and potentially crash your computer. So here I am back in sculpt mode after adding my uh, second layer of remesh modifier and checking to see if I have enough detail to add in eyes. And now I do. Now I can kind of really draw in, you know, some detail. The, the idea here is that 
you only want to kind of ask for enough resources that you absolutely need at a given moment. And so um, what I can do too is after I come in here and add sort of the detail that I want to into say the face, um, if I want to make sure that I then cut my file size back down, I can go back out into object mode and use a different modifier, which is essentially the reverse of remesh. And we can add the decimate modifier. And so what this does is it uh, removes sort of polygons at whatever ratio you specify. So And so it, it, we can see it kind of got a little blurrier when I did that. But if I go ahead and apply this, we can go and check on my file size. And we can see it, it dropped down from uh, 80 to 64 by removing some of those extra polygons that I didn't necessarily need. So, you know, going back and forth between using the remesh uh, modifier to increase the level of detail that you can add in. And then once you've added in the particular details that you need, going and using that decimate modifier to bring it back down can help you keep you within that safe limit of, you know, however much RAM you have installed on your computer and however fast your processor is. So that's it for this video. Um, thanks again for watching. If you found anything useful or have any suggestions, please uh, leave a comment. Um, if you watched the video at all, please leave a comment. You know, I'm still just starting out with this and doing it for fun. So I don't know if anyone else out there is watching. Um, so I'd be glad to hear from you. And uh, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.